Oh, look at this little fancy bear in his suit. He's ready to go. Hello, friends. Today, I am at Vendors Village in Terre Haute, Indiana. Jeffrey is here with me. We've been here once before, and it's kind of a mixed, mixed bag. It is a vendor mall or flea market, so there's new things, there's old things, there's good things, there's okay things. So let's go in and let's see what we can find today. I like the Halloween guys. Halloweenies. I like them too, though. I just he is 65. That's yeah, nice. I like the green eyes and stuff. And he is 100. He's a hundred. You're a hundred dollars, Dracula. Here's a bank from Edgar. Oh. Oh, look at this little fancy bear in his suit. He's ready to go. He works, or he did. You're a born leader. You're a born leader. There's nothing you can do. Well, I'm gonna have to get you, cause you're too fun. You're too fun, Mr. Talking Bear. Here, let's put you in the cart. You can be our friend. Put the thing down. There you go. As is. Well, these little Lufton girls, are they as is? Oh, they're eight dollars, really? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this, oh, as is. Hmm. But I wonder if it's because maybe she's got some flowers. I don't know. I've sold this one recently. Ooh, she's six dollars as is. But what's wrong with her? She has syphilis. Oh, her bow's missing. This girl back here is just showing. She's showing it all. They all have a bow missing. I don't. Mm, why? Isn't she a little bow peep though? They're bloomer girls. Oh yeah, the bloomer girls. That's pretty. That's five dollars. I will get her and her friend. Did you look at the jewelry in here, Jeffrey? Oh no. Uh -uh. Mr. Bear. This is a acrylic um, candlestick holder. I am gonna get that. All right, well, Jeffrey and I are sharing a cart, so I got five of these, or I think I got five of these Voco records. They're $5 each, but they are pretty collectible. And I got Old Mother Hubbard. She kind of looks like she's giving you the what for, but I like her. She's purple and fun. And then the girls, so we're not, I mean, Jeffrey's fine a lot. I'm just kind of not. I actually had stopped filming few minutes because I was like I'm done but I mean I'm here I might as well film right all right so oh there's a monkey down here look at this monkey man what are you doing fella you are a monkey planter for $12 you're thinking probably should get you but I'm not I'm not. I'm not going to get you, monkey. Bye. I have a little piece of Fenton hobnail for 18 But then I saw this. This is a um, swordfish. And it's on this, kind of like a burr wood, I guess. It is glass. It's $7. Don't normally see things like this here. Because, you know, we're not near the sea. But, so I think I'm going to get this guy. It's 50 cents for Ch Ch Chicago. I think he's like a little German shepherd. 50 cents. Yes. A cute little boy and girl dog. Oh, those are cute. Oh, they, she's got lots of chips on her, though. So I'm not going to get that. But look, Jeffrey. There you go. It's $40, though. That's a large thing. It's $40. Oh, someone, really, <laughs> someone got into that carpet a little too much. Yeah, I don't want the duck planter. Those are really cute. $45. Who made them? Horsemen. They're probably worth hundreds of dollars and everyone's yelling, why didn't you get those dolls? Well, we just didn't look them up. Well, hello friends and welcome to the haul portion of today's video. This video is from Vendor Village in Terre Haute, Indiana. I got a small haul and I tried showing you most of the things that I got, but then I just kind of honestly, I got sick of filming and so I just stopped.
So I'm doing a haul. I'm just going to revisit the things that I had purchased that day. Now, all of these things are available to purchase. You can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com if you're interested in purchasing any of these things. And let's go ahead and get started with the haul. All right. I found little Chicago, Chichago. I don't know. I'm saying its name wrong, but look at that cute little baby. Chicago. Chicago. It says it is made by, or it's it's a print by Josephine Plummering. But it was 50 cents. So I did get this cute little puppy. Kind of looks like a little um, German Shepherd puppy, possibly. Possibly. What kind of dog do you think that is? Let me know in the comments. It's a puppy. You can tell it's got a little pup face, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. All right, and then I got this dandy. He is a dandy. He was $10, but he was a certain percentage off, and I'm just a sucker for these. It is a Commonwealth Toy Company, and he is a fancy bear, and he still works. There's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't do. Okay, well, you say more than that, bear. Let's see. Okay, one more time. I promise you he says more. You're a winner. You're a... I didn't catch that last part. He'll probably say it again. You're a winner. Carry on. You're a winner. Carry on. You're a born leader. You're a born leader. It's just a little... It, this bear will give you a little bit of a pep talk if you're having a down day. There's nothing you can't do. See? There's nothing you can't do. And I like that he's in a little, he's kind of a little gangster. He's kind of a little gangster bear. Look at here, see? That's what I think of him. But I, I like that he still worked. So he kind of sat in the cart with us when we shopped. All right. I got this cute little bee sugar bowl. And you know what? Hang on just a second. I have this little gold spoon that I've been holding on to, waiting for the right thing to put to use it for and I think I found it yes see that little spoon is gonna go in this little sugar bowl um this is made in Japan don't know who made it but it is made in Japan I haven't looked any of these things up yet um I paid four dollars for it so I happily did that I'll take the rest of the tag off but it's in great condition and these little bee things are pretty popular right now it's in a little flower so he's getting the nectar from the flower but you can keep your sugar in there and you can use this little gold spoon. Put your sugar. Okay, this I'm actually keeping. I am just going gaga over this pottery. This green kind of a basket weave pottery. This is a little biscuit jar. It's missing the little bamboo handle. I don't care. I loved it. It is made in Japan. I just am filling up a cabinet of these whenever I find them. I paid probably a little bit more than what I should have since it's missing the handle, but I bought it for myself and I'm okay with that. It does have the lid. The lid is in great condition. It is uh, glazed on the inside, so you could still put food in it if you wanted to, but I'm a sucker for this green pottery. I love it so much. So that's that I'm keeping. And then I got her. Now, she just cracked me up. She's made in Japan. I want to say she's Napco. Um, it, yeah, it's Napco. It is Old Mother Hubbard. And when I first looked at her, look, we're kinda, we kind of look alike. But when I first looked at, her, looked at her, I thought she was giving somebody the bird. You just glance at her, see? You just, it just kind of, that's just what it kind of says to me. But look at her little purple dress with that mint green accents. There's her face. Old Mother Hubbard. Let's see, children, gather around and I'll tell you a story. You can put a flower in her bottom. She's made in Japan. That is the old Napco wear emblem, Old Mother Hubbard. I liked her. She's different. I think that's why I liked her. She's a little different. I did get these two little Lefton angels. They're in remarkably great condition. This one has a little, like the halo has been repaired. Um, and this one is September, Morning Glory Sapphire. 
It is George Zoltan Lufton on the bottom. Now her halo has been repaired, but all of her flowers in her basket are great. Look at, she's like, do you like my flowers? But there's her markings on the bottom. Her wings are all still intact. And then this little girl is in really perfect condition. There's, she has no issues. She is November's angel. And she, I don't think, okay, this one has a September birthstone right there. And she has the November birthstone in her bow right there. But she's got her little chrysanthemums. Oh, mums. It says on the bottom, Misty. Mums. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so this is Morning Glory and Sapphire is September. So Morning Glory is the flowers. These are mums and Topaz is the gem. I like how it all works out. But this is also George Z. Lefton. So she's in excellent condition. And then I got this. Now this, whenever I see these, my mind goes somewhere else just being the 12 year old that lives inside me, but it is an acrylic ball, a candlestick holder. There's three balls on here. See, this is blue acrylic and it has this wimpy little candle in here, but it would look great with an acrylic candle in it. Uh, I paid $7 and 50 cents for this and I want to say it was 25% off, but you know, when you look at it a certain way, like I said, you're, the 12 year old comes out in me, but it has a wooden base and it has these three blue acrylic balls. Candlestick holder. I wish that there were two, but there was only one. All right, and then I got these. Jeffrey actually pointed these out and he said, you know, you should get those. And then Jeffrey and I, being the 12 year olds that we both are when we're together, picked them up and was just thought this was just hilarious. <laughs> oh, look at that. But then we got over ourselves and we looked at how nice these are with the little roosters. And so this is a little snack set. You can put your two eggs right here and your yogurt or cereal. Um, I do believe that these are a California pottery. There are three of them. So I will be selling all three as a set. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I will do them individually. We'll just have to see. But I love there. The paint looks a little airbrushed on there. But you can eat your eggs and your yogurt out of these. That is fun. And they're great. They're a nice, chonky American piece, too. So I like that. And then I got this. Now, you, I think I had said this in, at some point when we were shopping. That, you know, you don't we don't see a lot of sea creatures in this area. Because we're not near the sea. So I found this beautiful glass marlin or swordfish. I don't quite know if there's a difference between a marlin and a swordfish, but it's on this beautiful wooden base, and it's this lovely, it's got like the blue iridescent top fin and the gold accents on the other fins. It's just lovely, and it's in great condition. So I thought that I would try it and see. Isn't that beautiful? It's a very, it's a very much of a statement piece, and I think that this would look great you know, in a coastal home um, or, you know, a beach themed home, but this is all glass and it's on the wooden base. So I really thought that was something special. So I got that. All right. And then the last things that I got, I took a risk on these. I paid $5 each, each for these records, which is paying up for me, but I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. And I remember our Katie girl, Vintage and Vinyl saying that these Voco records were a pretty good thing. So I, I got them. Now this one has, it's got some chipping to it, but I loved the graphic on here. So this is a record. So it has the picture and then you're not going to be able to see, but it is a record. Can you see the grooves in there a little bit? But just even using it as an Easter display piece. It's double-sided, having fun at the Easter, or at the bunny Easter party. It's the same on both sides. But like I said, I paid $5 each for these. <sighs> this is also Voco, 1949. This one is the Lone Prairie, the little cowboy on there. And then Sourwood Mountain. 
they're having a hoedown. And then this is also Voco. It is 1949. This one is Jack and Jill. And I'm loving Jack. Jack is giving me life. Look at him. He's like, whoa. I mean, Jill's falling down too, but that, that's just everything. So it's Jack and Jill. And then on the other side, it's the alphabet song. So you could switch these around when you're using them for your display. Decide which side you want to have it on. <laughs> I love this one. Spunky the Monkey. Also Voco 1949. Spunky the Monkey. There were actually a whole stack of these. And I just kind of went through because they were $5 each. I went through and picked out my favorites. And then on the other side is she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. No. She'll be coming around the mountain. And then Pop Goes the Weasel. Also Voco. This one is... Is your date on here? 1948. So Pop Goes the Weasel. But there's a monkey right there. And then the Hippity Hop Bunny. On the other side. And then the last one is Voco... 1948, and it is Kitty Cat. I loved the graphics. And then it's also the Ten Little Indians on this side. So, $5 each. I haven't looked any of them up. I don't know. But, what is that? Uh, 5, 10, 15... 20, 25, 30. I spent $30 on these records. So I don't know. I don't know if I should sell them as a lot on eBay or sell them. I don't know. I don't quite know how I'm going to sell them yet. I don't know if I even should have bought them for $5 each. Don't know. We will find out and I will keep you posted. I'll let you know. I'll put some comps somewhere around here if I can find any on these particular ones. But so stay tuned for that. But that is it. We uh, thank you so much for going shopping with us and for watching the haul. Jeffrey did a video on this as well. I will link his channel down below so you can watch Jeffrey's version of our sh shopping trip together. We always have a lot of fun and act really silly and goofy, but you know, it's what we do when we're together. Thank you so much for watching the video. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.